Hi there, this is your accounting coach ARD and today we are going to discuss manufacturing accounts. Now without further ado, let's get started. In order to understand manufacturing account, first of all, we need to understand cost classification. Now what does cost classification mean? Classify means to organize something into different categories, into different types. Today we are going to organize our cost. In any manufacturing environment, cost can be understood by basically three ways. First of which is cost can be understood by its elements. Now elements means components. So uh, whenever we make tea, we need four elements basically. We need water, we need uh, tea uh, and secondly, we thirdly, we need uh, milk and lastly, we need water. Okay, there are four ingredients to make a tea, a cup of tea. So in the same manner, in any manufacturing environment, in any factory, cost can be categorized into basically three categories. One is material cost. Secondly, we have labor cost. Thirdly, we have expense cost. So in any product, let's say I have a mobile phone in my hand. In my mobile phone, there are basically three items. Uh, one is material. Uh, it can be uh, integrated circuits, ICs. It can be the screen. It can be the battery. It can be plastic. It can be glass. These are all basically material to make a mobile phone. Uh, now, if we uh, uh, keep all of the components with ourselves and do not do anything about it, we cannot get a mobile phone manufactured itself. Okay. No matter how many thousands of years we keep the components uh, all together. Okay. So they need to be someone who is assembling all these components in order to make a mobile phone and this someone individual is known as labor thirdly we need some sort of expenses in order to assemble this mobile phone maybe it is the rent of the factory uh, the place where these mobile phones are being manufactured it can be the electricity expense it can be machine running costs or it can be any other expense okay so basically there are three things to in order to make a mobile phone one is material secondly we have labor thirdly we have expenses now the second categorization or the second way to understand cost is cost can be grouped into two categories one is direct cost and another one is indirect cost direct costs are basically my dear students costs that can be traced that, that are traceable that can be identified into the product or service being manufactured or provided so any cost that is traceable or identifiable or any cost that is major is known as a direct cost or it is also known as primary cost okay primary cost or major cost to make a product or deliver a service is known as direct cost and indirect cost are basically costs that cannot be traced easily that are untraceable that are unidentifiable and that are not major they are minor cost to make a product and these are not primary cost and these are secondary costs so any cost my dear students that are traceable into the product now what does it means a traceable cost traceable cost means uh, for example we are making a wooden chair so can a person that is a carpenter can tell you how much kgs of wood would be required to make a single chair if he is able to tell you the exact amount this means the wood is direct cost for a chair okay if uh, i am wearing a suit uh, uh, can our tailor uh, tell us how much how or uh, what length of clothing is required to make a suit okay so the uh, clothing for suit is basically a direct cost so the direct cost is any cost that can be traced into the particular product or service okay and any cost that is minor maybe thread if we ask uh, a tailor how much uh, reels of thread we required in order to make a suit so the tailor will say uh, sir or madam whoever you are uh, i am doing this job for n number of years and i do not know, remember uh, when i basically measured the amount of thread required to make that suit okay similarly a carpenter if you ask a carpenter how many nails are required to make a, a wooden chair so the carpenter will say uh, basically sir i haven't uh, recorded uh, basically uh, re kept a record of how much uh, nails i do require to make a wooden chair okay because it is so minor cost we cannot uh, we basically do not record 
द टाइम रिक्वायर्ड और बेसिकली वी डो नॉट रिकॉर्ड द मटीरियल रिक्वायर्ड फॉर एम मटीरियल कॉस्ट बेसिकली दीज आर माइनर कॉस्ट और एम मटीरियल कॉस्ट सो दे फॉर वी ट्रीट इट एज एन इनडायरेक्ट कॉस्ट सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स वी अंडरस्टूड टू मैथड्स to uh, classify cost one is by elements elements can be material labor or expense secondly we understood there are two methods to classify cost one is direct cost and one are indirect cost so what if sir we have both of these things in common we have we can have material we can have labor and we can have an expense and material can be classified into two categories material can be direct material or it can be an indirect material okay similarly labor can also be classified into two broad categories it can be a direct labor or it can be an indirect labor say so, lastly we have expenses my dear students expenses can also be classified into two types one is direct expense and one is indirect expense so basically my dear students there are six types of cost in any factory there are direct material indirect material direct labor and indirect labor and direct expense and indirect expense if we add up all of these direct cost direct material direct labor and direct expense my dear students we will get a total that is known as prime cost so prime cost is basically sum of all direct cost if we add up all of the direct cost direct material direct labor and direct expense we are going to get prime cost and what if we add all of the indirect cost in the question indirect material indirect labor and indirect expense if we add up all indirect cost will be getting a figure we will be getting an amount that is known as overheads so my dear students overheads are sum of all indirect cost now if someone asks you a question whether the expense and overhead is basically the same thing or not so how can you uh, clarify him or her you can clarify him or her that uh, uh, expenses can be grouped into two basic categories expenses can be direct expense or it can be indirect expense okay so the direct expense basically becomes part of prime cost and indirect expense not only indirect expense along with indirect material and indirect labor all of these indirect cost becomes overheads okay so there is a difference between expense and overhead this does not means the same thing and my dear students the third uh, method to understand cost to classify cost is by function cost can be classified into two broad functions functions are also known as departments but there is a slight difference between the two functions are a broad category and departments come within functions okay so there are two basically functions one is production cost and another one is non production cost my dear students production cost is also known as manufacturing cost or it can also be classified as factory cost so production cost factory cost uh, or manufacturing cost are costs that are incurred during production and non production cost my dear students are costs that are incurred before production or after production so costs that are incurred during production are known as production cost and costs that are incurred before or after production are known as non production cost and production costs are incurred uh, on the factory floor okay the costs that are arising during production on the factory floor are production costs and costs that are arising outside the factory floor maybe in some other uh, service departments or support departments it is known as non production cost okay so what are basically production cost my dear students these six types of costs are grouped as production cost so there are basically prime cost and there are basically overheads and which overheads the overheads that belong to factory factory overhead or production overheads are basically part of production cost now we if we add up six types of cost uh, basically three costs are direct cost direct material direct labor and direct expense and if we add up three indirect costs as well that belongs to the factory that is indirect material indirect labor and indirect expense my dear students these six costs of the factory are collectively known as production cost okay production cost or manufacturing cost means all of the costs that are incurred in a factory to make a product whether they are direct costs or whether they are indirect costs now what are non production costs my dear students non production costs are costs that are incurred before production or after production they are not incurred on factory floor and they are not incurred to make a product instead they are incurred to uh, support the production indirectly now what are these costs they can be selling and advertising costs 
selling and advertising basically takes place after production is done okay so the selling and advertising costs are incurred after production now we have r d research and development and research and development is basically uh, done uh, before production in order to understand the market dynamics and in order to understand which niche market we are targeting to and what are our customers who will be basically buying our product then we have distribution cost distribution is basically delivering cost or carriage outward okay carriage outward is basically distribution cost or delivery cost then we have administration cost any cost that is not incurred uh, can cannot be classified to any other department or any work that is done by uh, that won't be done by any other department will be done by admin department so admin means photocopy and printouts and these telephone and fax and quotations and accounting and this is all basically relating to administration and office costs then we have finance costs finance costs my dear students consist of the interest on loan the loan that we have taken uh, to uh, conduct business the interest on loan that will be uh, paid to the bank or any other uh, individual is known as finance cost so my dear students we understood cost classification if we uh, have understood cost classification it will be easy for us to understand how to prepare a manufacturing account for a factory so we'll be doing it in the second part of the video thank you